Hi everyone, welcome to the Simply Line YouTube channel. In this session, we'll be about creating a Telegram bot using Python. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. In this session, we will create a Simply Learn bot that will help its users to choose from various courses offered by Simply Learn. Now, let's understand the uses of bots. The first use of bot is to get customized notifications and news. A bot can act as a smart newspaper sending relevant content to its subscribers as soon as it's published. The next use is accept payments. A bot can offer paid services or work as a virtual storefront. Another use is create custom tools. A bot may provide you with alerts, weather forecasts, translations, formatting or other services. And another use is build social services. A board could connect people looking for conversation partners based on common interests or proximity. With the understanding of uses of boards, now let's create our own board. You will have to follow the steps to create a telegram board. And the first requirement to create a board is you should have a telegram account. Now let's move to telegram. And using the telegram, we will interact with the telegram board further which is going to provide us with the bot and the token which will act as a password for that bot and then we will create a python program to do all these interactions so you need to get the telegram app whether on the desktop or in your mobile phone i'm going to use desktop versions you can download the desktop app from desktop.telegram.org i will show you how to download it desktop telegram.org here you can see that uh, windows bit64 version is available and you can see all the platforms and you can choose according to your needs i have installed the windows 64 bit version and the telegram app now we'll search for the board further and be careful and click on the verified one with the blue tick this is the one just click on it and you can click on the start to start the conversation with the board father you can see the various commands here and board father is again a board which telegram has created in order to do automation of all the board creations and now to create a new board we'll start with the command slash new board here you can see this is the command you can click on that or just write here slash new board now the father board has replied or write a new board how are we going to call it please choose a name for your board so here you have to choose a name for your board i will go with the name upskill by simply learn for my board Now the father board has replied good. Now let's choose a username for your board. It must end in board like this for example Tetris board or Tetris underscore board. You need to make sure that the username is unique and it ends with underscore board or it should have board at the end of the username. Board father will inform you if your username is already taken. So I would be going with the username. Upskill underscore 1122 simply learn underscore board and the board father replied done congratulations on your new board you will find it at this is the link hey if you click it you will just get to your board and we have received the token for our board here you can see use this token to access the http api this is your token and the board father said keep your token secure and store it safely it can be used by anyone to control your board as soon as you receive the token you have to write another command that is 
slash set privacy and press enter it will change the privacy settings for your board so no one can misuse your board token and now you have to choose the port you want to change the privacy settings so we are currently working on the upskill underscore one one two two underscore simply none underscore board so we'll choose this and here you can see that the security is enabled you have to write disable or choose disable from here now success the new status is, is disabled so your board is now secure and your token can't misused by anyone else this is how we created a board and now we will use this in python program first we will see the external packages we need to install for this project for that we will move to command prompt and install the packages the first package is pip install python hyphen telegram hyphen board As you can see the package is already installed on my system so you have to install the package and then open your ID ID for that I will create a folder <coughs> and I will name it as telegram board And inside I will open my ID ID for that I will write the command cmd and open my visual studio code now I will create a new file and name it as telegram.py And now first thing I'll do is import telegram.ext now we are going to load the token provided by the board further so we'll move to telegram and copy the token provided by the board further so this is our token We'll copy it and move back to our ideally and create a new variable that would be token. A token in it. Now we'll create the updater object. This object will be used to perform actions with our board. So we're going to write the command updater equal to telegram dot ext dot updater and we'll pass the token and use context equal to true in it first we will copy our token and pass another variable that is use underscore context and that would be equal to true And now we're gonna get the dispatcher. We'll create a variable with the name dispatcher, and that would hold updater load dispatcher. Now we'll add the functions to give our board some functionalities. We will start with the start command. It's the first command usually given to the board. For that we will write define that would be defining the function with the name start and inside we will pass update and context as we have used the use underscore context as true we will use the context for some information and when someone starts the conversation with a board what should be a first message we will set the first message as welcome to simply learn for that we will write
update dot message dot reply underscore text and inside we'll store a message that would be hello welcome to simply learn next we'll define another function that is help and for that we'll write the command df help and we'll pass the same update and context and inside this function we will send the message with the commands that would be start help content and the python playlist or sql playlist or java playlist that the user wants to persuade or which course he want to persuade so we will start with date dot message dot reply underscore text and inside we will define all the commands so we will go with the triple columns So our first one would be start and it would symbolize welcome to the channel and our next one would be help only and it would indicate <coughs> this particular message. The next command will define as content and this would be about various playlists of simply run the next will start with the python playlist and if the user write this command to a bot he will just direct it to the first video from the python playlist and next command we will write about sql and it would also direct it to the first video from SQL playlist and the next up command would be about Java and it would also direct to the first video from the Java playlist And we would also set another command that would be contact and that would hold the contact information if someone wants to contact to simply learn for further information. And now we will define all these commands for that will write the function find content and will pass update and context and inside we will just uh, output to the users with the command update dot message dot reply underscore text and the output that would users will see is we have various playlists and articles available
and now similarly we will update the next function we will copy this So the token would be stated here. We will copy the function, and our next function would be Python. So if the user type Python in the chat board, so he will just direct it to the first video from Python playlist. For that, we will copy the link of the first video from the playlist Python and paste in the message to reply underscore text. And for that, we'll write tutorial link. paste the link of the video and now we'll do the same for SQL and Java we will copy the function and change the name to the SQL and copy the link of the first video of SQL from the playlist and now we will do the same for the Java for that we will copy the function and paste here and name it as Java now we will move to the Java playlist and copy the link of the first video from the playlist and paste it here now we are done with the functions python sql java and we are left with contact so we will declare another function for that also we will copy the same function and name it as contact and inside you can contact on the registered mail id provided it on the website so these are some functions which we can add to the dispatcher we will create a command handler to handle the certain command and map the function to it and then add the command handler to the dispatcher. So first we will write the command. That is dispatcher dot add underscore handler and inside we will write telegram dot ext dot command handler and inside we will pass the name of the command that will be inputted by the user and the function name for that we will write first we will write the command that is start and the function defined by us for the command start is also with the name start now we will copy this command and do the needful for all the functions so here we will change the command that would be python And the function name and the 
the same for SQL. And same for Java. And we're left with the last command that is contact and in the end we'll write command updater dot start underscore polling so it will check if our code is working or not and updater dot idle it is used when the user just enters the first command so it will not exit the program it will wait for user to enter other commands we forgot to write a command for help for that we'll copy the command and right help we'll save the program and click on the run button here we can see that the program is running fine now we'll move to the telegram and click on our bot username you can also search the bot, our bot username here it's globally searchable now we'll click on the start so on the start command we have got the output hello welcome to simply learn now we'll input slash help and here we have got all the commands that is slash start slash help and this particular message will appear when we click on the slash help or we'll just write it here when we click on slash python we will get the first video from the python playlist and when we click on the slash sql we will get the first video from the sql playlist and similar with the java we will get the first video from the java playlist and when we click on the command slash contact we get the output you can contact on the registered mail id provided on the website so we have done with our telegram bot we have created the telegram bot successfully with that we have come to the end of this session i hope it was interesting and informative if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below also do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.